Um, we're going to switch gears a little bit, although it has something to do with budget. And the question is, um, one candidate mentioned a district-wide foreign language program. How would you fund such a program, district-wide foreign language program? What would you cut in order to implement this program? And, we'll ans and uh, let me give you the order. We'll start with um, Mr. Cabrera, Mr. Mr. Dauber, um, Ms. Dalma, um, and Ms. Godfrey, and then Ms. Foster. So again, the question, one candidate mentioned a district-wide foreign language program. How would you fund this program? And what would you cut in order to implement uh, this program, uh, Mr. Cabrera? Yeah, so the two primary places where I would cut from the budget, and obviously we want to see the budget more to go into more detail, uh, one is, is the, the reserves, so potentially reduce the reserves down to 5 percent from 10 percent. And of course, currently we're at almost 15 percent. Um, uh, possibly uh, make it double, you know, what the state requires, which would be uh, mid kind of 6 percent. But um, more importantly, I feel like we need community members. You know, we're going to have a, a one inch thick document that goes over, you know, the $200 million as well as the $600 million uh, from the bond. And so I would encourage, you know, the community to split that up, you know, $5 million per person. You know, let's really comb through this budget and see where we can, you know, nitpick. I feel like there is always excessive spending going towards administrative oversight. You know, how can we get that money back into the, into the community? Um, if, as a community, we do want to implement a forward language program, you know, at all schools, that is certainly a, a great idea and something that if people want to do that, we should find a way to make it happen in the context of, our budget restrictions, and I feel that there are ways of doing that. So. Thank you. Mr. King Barber. Well, the first thing we need to recognize is why do we want foreign languages in elementary schools? And it's because the research shows that um, kids who start foreign languages early do better in languages through life, and they also do better in literacy generally. So that's why we want it, and we should keep our eye on that ball. And then the question is, how do we pay for it? Um, and there are two questions. One is, what would I cut? I've already mentioned a couple of things, really unnecessary uh, legal fees going to outside law firms. Um, public relations. I would look across our budget for expenses that aren't directly tied to um, things that benefit students, because we really want a student-first budgeting policy. We also have, um, we're running a strong budget surplus through property tax revenues. We're by default investing a lot of that in a general fund reserve. Uh, I wouldn't cut our board policy f about reserves at uh, below its 10% current level. But I certainly wouldn't continue to invest in reserves because we are not making good projections about what property tax revenues are. And when I say we're not making good projections, I mean we're making um, projections that are unreasonably conservative and are leaving us in a situation where we are not doing things for kids because we are pretending at the beginning of the budgeting cycle that we have less money than, uh, than we actually know that we're going to have. And that's just perverse. We should give ourselves all of the fi financial and fiscal tools that we have to make decisions and make those decisions consciously. And I, I think when we do that, we're going to decide that we want something that is as impactful and important as foreign languages. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Donnells, same question. So, uh, so I agree strongly in a universal uh, foreign language uh, policy. I do also think that we need to plan um, to make it happen. I'm the result of a bilingual education, and it not only um, I'm hoping that it helped me in literacy, but it does make you a global citizen. Um, and we've seen um, efforts of that in our school district where it's not only being bilingual, but bicultural, and I want to make sure that that is, that is clear. So, um, so we need to, we need to uh, I'll go back to my answer to the previous question. Uh, we need to make sure that we're evaluating things. There's a lot of programs that we've had that have, that have started. They have not shown any impact in student achievement. First, we need to know about it. And, and, and we need to have the courage to close them and assure that those savings are going for something that we know works, which is, which is a second language. Um, a, there have, we, we visited the, the, the superintendent in the candidates' night, and um, it, it is obvious that there's been a very conservative policy towards reserves. Um, so I'm, I, you know, we need to, to, to make sure that that is used for some things that we know are uh, valuable for our kids' well-being. Thank you. Um, Ms. Godfrey? Um, as I mentioned in one of the prior questions, I worked on the FLUS Foreign Language in the Elementary School Task Force in 2008. And at that time, we took a proposal to the board, and it was rejected 
the financial circumstances were not good. So um, also since then, I mentioned that I was PI board president, and part of what PI donors have asked for for many years when we go out to figure out what donors want to fund um, and we find the place what donors want to fund and what the school district can do, foreign language comes up over and over again. So if I looked at what I might want to do with funding FLESS, I would start with, back in 2008, it was going to cost $1.1 million to do FLESS in the third, fourth, and fifth grades across all the elementary schools. Um, unfortunately, the teachers haven't gotten many raises since then, so it's probably not much more. Um, but you could start by using some reserves to start the program, and then as you build momentum, maybe in your donor base, with we know that we have donors who want to fund the elementary schools, and you can fund either elementary, higher, or middle, you have that choice. Um, we could use some um, donor funds for that. To, as that grows, you, you use less of what's in the reserves. And then as a whole budgeting process, as we're looking at things that we want to defund, that um, frees up some funding as well. So there's those three different sources. The mix between those three sources changes over time to be less reserves and more other funding. Um, but I'm pretty sure we can do that. I thought we could do it then. Unfortunately, the, the board did not. Thank you. Um, and finally, oh, Ms. Foster, same question. I share my colleagues' strong commitment to foreign language instruction earlier um, and believe that we absolutely can do it. I've heard again and again when talking to people in this community that they want it, um, and I know from all of my work in, in education policy over the years, this is something that, for all the reasons that have been stated, is good for us to do. Our budget should follow our, our priorities as a community, and it should follow our values, and therefore um, we need to make this work if this is something that we are committed to. Um, the costs um, can be funded in some of the ways that, that I heard here before, I believe that we can um, take a little bit off of our reserves. Um, I think that in terms of PI funding, um, I would be only interested in kind of annual kind of pay-go funding for the kinds of expenses um, that are um, in a much more annual sense as opposed to a long-term investment. But I do think that PI um, is one of many avenues that could be used. Other places that I would look to for cuts um, include, um, again, programs that aren't returning uh, the results that we want for our kids. So evaluation, I know I'm a bit of a broken record on this one, but I think that evaluation um, is going to lead us um, to more effective use of our dollars. I also think that we should take a, a hard look at what we do in terms of sustainability in our schools um, and see if there's any cost savings that we can realize in the way we use energy and resources within our schools. Um, and um, I, will, uh, I will leave it at that. Okay, thank you. Um, I think you actually have a few minutes, but are you done? Thank you.